Welcome to DIY Volts. I'm Seth. I'm looking to install some solar power into a camper and I thought the all powers 200 watt solar panels that are uh, quite flexible would be a good option for this camper. So let's go ahead and unbox these panels and then take a look at them here in perfect sunlight with a power station. Let's do a quick unboxing of this 200 watt panel. There's a nice thick piece of foam on both sides of the panel to keep it protected as it's shipped. There are several straps. These Velcro straps will allow you to connect this panel to the top of your car or an RV. It has a user manual and also has an MC4 to XT60 plug. So you can plug this straight up into a power station. So let's go ahead and remove the foam and take a look at the panel. The first thing you'll note about this solar panel is that it has a bit of flex to it. Not a whole lot, but just enough to conform to the top of your vehicle and uh, hopefully be nice and flat. So uh, if you did need to drive with this installed, it wouldn't uh, catch too much wind, hopefully. I don't know if you're meant to drive with them, but uh, you could if you had to. All right, let me bring you in close so you can see what this panel looks like. Right over here, you'll find the positive and negative cables. They are marked to indicate uh, this is positive over here. It has both a sticker, but also an indicator here on the uh, combiner or fuse up here. So uh, you've got those cables lengthwise, not more than about, uh, I'd say three feet on that. All right, now it also has these little metal grommets over here, as you can see and that's where your Velcro will attach to, to keep this on whatever roof rack you've got. So let's go ahead and flip this over and see if it has some information written on it. Maximum output, 200 watts. Open voltage, 38.4 volts. Short circuit current, 6.87 amps. Maximum output voltage, 32 volts. Max output current, 6.25. Now that we've taken a look at this panel, I believe it's time to take it outside and give it a try on a power station. I have got an all powers power station that I will be connecting these panels to. Now my first observation on this panel is that it seems to be well made. However, I find it strange that the cables are here on the front. I feel like that may block the solar some, but let's go outside and find out. It is a perfectly clear day and it should be an awesome test to get full power out of these panels. My power station is designed to take an XT60 plug, so I'm going to pull this up and the solar panel just happened to come with the required cable here. So I can easily plug this up where it needs to go. The other end has the MC4 connectors, so I can find the uh, positive cable and go here and then find the negative cable and go here. And it's that simple to get this connected together. I turned on my power station and realized I was charged at 100%. So I've got a small heater running at uh, 589 watts to drop this battery some. So the moment that I plugged up the solar panel, I was getting 90 plus watts. And this is not even at an ideal angle. So let me raise this up some and we will see I think way better than 93 watts. Let's give it a try here. So that's a lot better of an angle. 165 watts, very nice. Now I wonder what would happen if I removed that power cable from casting a shadow over the panel. As you can see, there is a shadow that's cast. So let me see if I can coax that down there and try it again. Okay, how about now with full sun? There's 168. 168 watts with a single panel that's rated at 200. Not bad at all. But wait, there's more. I've got a second panel we can connect, which should be about 400 watts total. Let's combine these real quick and see what kind of output we have here on this power station. 
In order to wire these two panels together, I'm going to wire them in series, which means one panel into the next panel. Take the uh, negative of one side into the positive of the next, and that gives us one overall positive, one overall negative between the two panels. So then it's just a matter of reconnecting this as we had it before. There we go. And uh, once again, I'm gonna try to get these cables out of the way so we can pick this all up together and see what our power is. All right, I'm gonna pick these panels up, make sure they're not overlapping, just like this, and then we will see what kind of power is being outputted from these panels onto the power station. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna lift these both up into the sun and see what we get here. Not a perfect angle, but we should still get some good power. What, 290 watts. Now it is only about 10.30 in the morning right now, so my sun angle isn't the best for this, but we went from 168 watts to 290 watts. So quite a good jump. I am satisfied with that. I feel like if the sun was directly overhead, I could get a much closer to the 400 that these two would be rated at. So as you can see, they do have a bit of flex to them. So if the top of your vehicle has a curve on it, you can easily get this attached. There are plenty of these metal grommets so that you can use your Velcro straps to get these attached. And I think you'll be good to go. The only thing I don't like about these panels is the way the power cable comes off of the top of the panel. But I'm assuming they do that so that when you have this attached to a vehicle roof, it's not going to be in the way. So I get it, but it just uh, it seems a little bit odd. Um, so uh, I think with these panels, you can have up to 120 volts of max. So honestly, about three of them is the most you ever really want to have on a system. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, in an upcoming video, I'm going to be installing these solar panels into a camper, and I'll have three of the panels together to uh, hopefully get 600 watts max output. I hope you found this video helpful. I will have a link to these solar panels in the description down below. And uh, stay tuned for an upcoming video where I will be installing these into a camper with a charge controller, inverter, and battery. So it'll be a complete solar setup for a camper. I'm Seth with DIY Volts and I will see you in the next video.